Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with y'all some more dump and go crock pot recipes. I know it's the busier season and I love my crock pot especially this time of year. So all of the recipes that I can link are going to be linked below in the description box for your reference. But without further ado we are going to jump right in with the first recipe. So since we are approaching Christmas I thought we would start with this easy dump and go breakfast. This is something that you could put on the night before and wake up to if you wanted to do it that way. Before this recipe you could use fresh potatoes, peppers, and onions. However I'm going to take a shortcut and use frozen potatoes O'Brien just to save on time and be able to pour this right into the crock pot with as little prep as possible. Next I'm going to add in some diced ham. You could also use bacon if you'd like or a combination of both. I'm just going to add that right in with the potatoes, peppers, and onions. I'm going to add in a good handful of medium cheddar cheese and give this all a stir. Over in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix together 12 eggs, 3 fourths cup of heavy cream, salt and pepper. I'm going to give that a good mix and we're going to pour this over the ham and potato mixture. I'm just going to stir that around to make sure that the eggs are coating everything. I'm going to top it with more cheese and cook this on low for six to eight hours. So when I plated it up, I topped mine with a few bacon bits and parsley, and it was perfect. Everyone really enjoyed this one. Honestly, I was expecting to have more leftovers than we did, but we only had about one helping, so I would say that this was definitely a hit. Next up, I made something called a creamy Italian chicken noodle soup. I'm going to start by adding one boneless skinless chicken breast to my crock pot along with a 32 ounce carton of chicken broth. So I'm going to go ahead and add in all the spices. I've got salt, pepper, basil, parsley, oregano, and minced garlic. Lastly, I'm going to add in some roasted red peppers. I'm just going to give those a chop before adding those in and this is going to cook on low for six hours. After that six hours is up, I'm coming back and shredding up the chicken and this is where I will add in the rest of the ingredients. First, adding some heavy cream. There's about a cup left in this carton and then about two cups of egg noodles. I'm going to give that a stir just to make sure that my pasta isn't clumped anywhere. I'm going to throw in a handful of spinach and this will cook on high for about 20 more minutes and it'll be ready. And you can't see it, but I did sprinkle some Parmesan on top in my bowl and I served it with garlic breadsticks on the side. Okay, this next one I made crock pot shrimp and grits. At first this sounded kind of silly to me because grits are, they're fast to make on the stove or in the microwave, but at the same time, it was also nice to throw in the crock pot and walk away for a few hours, especially if you don't need it right then. It's something that you could do ahead of time. So to get started, I'm adding 32 ounces of chicken broth to my crock pot along with one cup of quick grits. I'm 
gonna whisk that together just to make sure there are no lumps. To that, I'm gonna add a good cup of Colby Jack cheese. I also added salt, but I recommend skipping the salt because we're gonna add in Creole seasoning and that already has salt. So skip the salt if you add the Creole seasoning. I added some pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder as well. The last thing I'm gonna add is four ounces of cream cheese. This is an eight ounce block, so I just halved it. I'm gonna cube it up and place it around in the crock pot. I'm gonna cover and cook on low for three hours, and when we come back, we're gonna add in the shrimp. So this is what it was looking like after three hours, and I was concerned to be honest, but the more I stirred it, the better it was looking. I finally took the whisk, and that broke up all the cream cheese, and everything was starting to blend nicely. We're now going to add a bag of raw, peeled, deveined, tail-off frozen shrimp. I'm going to place the lid back on and let it cook for an additional 30 minutes. Just until the shrimp are pink, that's when you know they are done. Also, I do want to say when I added my shrimp, they were still partially frozen. Therefore, they put off some liquid, so I did have to go back and add a few more grits just to thicken it up. So there's a tip for y'all. Make sure that your shrimp is thawed so you don't have extra liquid. The last recipe I have to share today is a crockpot version of chicken pot pie. So I'm doing this any other way I would normally make my chicken pot pie. I'm starting by adding three boneless skinless chicken breasts to my crockpot, along with two cans each of cream of chicken and cream of celery. I'm just gonna give that a mix and then add in some frozen mixed veggies. I like to get the mix with corn, green beans, carrots, and peas. And I'm not measuring, I'm just pouring until I think it's a good amount. I'd say about two to three cups. I cook this on high for six hours, but you can also cook it on low for about eight hours. When it was done, I took the chicken out of the crock pot, shredded it, and added it back in. And my idea was to serve this over biscuits, so I just bought some frozen biscuits and baked those in the oven for about the last 20 minutes of cook time and served it that way. But that's going to be all for today's video. I hope that you got some crock pot inspiration for your meal plan. Remember to leave a food related emoji in the comments below if you watched until the end so I'll know you were here. I hope that y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.